Watercolor art on clouds. Watercolor on clouds. No way. <laughs> you know what the color technique is what surprised people the most probably in clothes customization because still so many people think that you can't even wash hand paint clothes and that painting on clothes and water are incompatible things. Uh, and when you tell them that you can mix paints with water and create watercolor art on clothes, they feel very confused. But it's true, you can create watercolor art on clothes and watercolor technique is one of the most beautiful techniques in clothes customization and you can create so beautiful, so cool clothes using it. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion Channel! I'm gonna create two designs, one a bit easy for the beginners who have never tried uh, to create watercolor art and who have never tried to create such art on clothes, and other one uh, a bit more complicated for people who know how to paint with watercolor paints on paper, uh, so they can see like the possibilities, what you can create on clothes uh, using this technique. Uh, and by the way, even if you don't think to create such art on clothes, uh, if you work in other styles, I still recommend you to watch this video until then because even if you don't want to create watercolor art, you can use this technique, uh, for example, for the background, and such background can make your design much, much more interesting. And yeah, I will show you examples later as well. So, yeah, let's get started. And first I'm gonna customize white crop t-shirt. Uh, if you want to create watercolor art, I recommend you to choose white color clothes because on white color, watercolor effect will be more visible. First thing which I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch wrap cardboard which I'm gonna put inside of a t-shirt to prevent paint bleeding through. As I'm gonna use large amount of water, cardboard will get wet and there is a big risk that some parts of the cardboard will stick to a fabric and it will be pretty hard to remove them. So the best solution is to stretch wrap cardboard to prevent it from getting wet. And I'm fixing t-shirt on a cardboard. And here is design which I'm gonna create, two veils design. And first I'm gonna sketch out design on a t-shirt with pencil. Uh, you can use also transfer paper to transfer your design from paper to a t-shirt, but you should be very careful uh, to don't create such very dark lines, uh, because uh, watercolor paint will not be able to cover up such dark lines, and such lines will be visible and they will just ruin the whole with the color aesthetic of your artwork. So if you want to create sketch, it should be very, very light, such nearly invisible sketch, such very bright lines you should create. And here is fabric paint which I'm gonna use. <laughs> yes, of course, I'm gonna use fabric paints. And brushes, uh, one brush is for watercolor, it's a very soft brush. And other brushes are for acrylics. They're not so soft, but I also will need them. Yeah, I will show you later how. <laughs> so let's start painting. And first I'm creating outline because it will be easier for me to work when I clearly see the shape. But again, I'm creating such very light, bright, nearly invisible outline because I want to create such very, very watercolor design without any graphic elements. And here are colors that you want to use and brush. First I'm going to use a brush for watercolor. Uh, so how to turn fabric paints into watercolor paints? is simply by mixing them with a large amount of water uh, and in watercolor art we don't use white color water is a white color and if you want to create light tones you add more water if you want to create dark tones you add less water and actually paints which i'm using are paints for painting on dark clothes and they have very good coverage but just mixing them with water i am able to turn them into watercolor paints, it's very interesting. 
So the process of creating a watercolor art on fabric is pretty the same as the process of creating watercolor art on paper. Uh, probably it's a bit harder uh, to uh, control the paint and to create clear shape. Uh, because if you touch uh, paper with brush, there will be a spot, but if you touch uh, fabric with brush, there will be a stain. Probably the only way to create clear shape is to create first very clear outline, which will kind of hold paint inside. But I didn't create such clear outline as you can see, because I thought that such a blurry effect will look very beautiful. It will look like veils kind of flying. So yeah, that's my decision. But if you want to create clear shape, you should create very clear outline first. And also one tip, if you want to create such more clear artwork, uh, don't use too much water near the edges of your object, because the less water you use, the easier for you will be to control the paint, because paint will not uh, expand so much on the surface of fabric if you use less water. And yeah, also if you want to create some graphic elements, some clear lines, again, just use small amount of water, don't use too much water. So I created first layer and I dried it with hair dryer and now as you can see my veils turned out very blurry and yeah I want to keep this blurry effect but still I want to make veils a bit more clear so I'm applying second layer but this time I'm adding less water to create more clear edges. And as you can see I'm using now brush for acrylics it's not so soft brush so it's easier for me to create such more clear lines and shapes with it and yeah i'm pretty happy with the result veils a bit blurry but still you can understand that it's veils and now it's time to create a background and for the background, I'm using a big flat brush and I'm creating strokes in the direction of movement, veils movement, to add a bit energy to the design. And as you can see, making strokes, sometimes I just dip brush in water, this light blue color water which I have. And yeah, when you create background, you can use as much water as you want. The more water, the better. <laughs> And paint splashes, uh, you know how I love to create paint splashes, but in watercolor designs, I just think that they are necessary. <laughs> And second design I'm gonna create on a buttons up shirt and this time as I said I'm gonna create a bit more complicated design I'm gonna paint faces, two faces and portraits are probably one of the most complicated designs uh, to paint with watercolor paints I decided to create abstract faces design because I think that it will look a bit more interesting on clothes <laughs> abstract designs look very very interesting on clothes And colors, uh, pretty the same colors, blue colors, but this time I'm gonna use a bit more purple and pink. And I'm gonna start with the background. Uh, first I decided to create a background and then create faces. And again, first I'm using a brush for watercolor, soft brush, and I'm making strokes in different directions. I'm creating paint splashes. Me. 
and I'm creating first layer on faces and uh, in watercolor art uh, first layer is usually when you put like main colors when you paint shadows and second third layer is for details when you paint eyes nose cheeks lips and so on Again, first I dried first layer with a hair dryer, and now I'm gonna paint details and I'm gonna use a brush for acrylics. And to paint details, not only you can add less water, but also you can uh, remove excess of water from brush using some piece of fabric, some old t shirt. And you may ask me, can I use fabric paint without adding water uh, to create details? Yes, you can, but if you want to create such graphic outline on top of watercolor background, I will show you later the example of such artworks. But if you want to create such watercolor art as I'm creating now, I don't recommend you to use only fabric paints without water, because fabric paints without water have pretty good coverage and they will just ruin this whole watercolor aesthetic of your artwork. So to paint details, dilute fabric paints a bit with water and then remove excess of water from brush with some piece of fabric. Well, I showed you what you can create using only watercolor uh, technique on clothes, but you can actually mix watercolor technique with graphic elements, or you can incorporate uh, watercolor technique in all kinds of designs. Uh, let me show you the examples of what you can do with watercolor technique and what kind of amazing clothes you can create using it. And first I want to show you the example of how you can create clear shapes with watercolor paint. Here artist created such clear jellyfishes and first artist applied pretty strong outline. Well, you can't see this outline because it's a white color, it was so smart to make it white. And this uh, outline kind of holds paint inside, so that way by creating a strong outline you can create more clear shapes and objects. And here is the example which I wanted to show you, a graphic design on top of watercolor background. And such design is perfect for people who are afraid that they won't be able to create details with watercolor paint. So you can create watercolor background and then on top of it create a line work with fabric paint and small brush or with fabric marker. And here again, beautiful design, a watercolor background, then line work made with small brush and fabric paint, and lettering. So beautiful, simple, and easy. And here you can see the mix of acrylic art, I mean using only fabric paints without uh, adding large amount of water, and watercolor art. So beautiful and looks so interesting. Here is the example how you can make your graphic design much more interesting by creating watercolor background. Because without background, design would have been a bit boring, a bit simple, but such watercolor background makes it much, much more unique. And here is again example of design made with fabric paints and watercolor effect background. So interesting!
And here is the answer on the question, can you use such watercolor technique on denim? Yes, you can. On light colored denim, you can create such watercolor effect background. Well, guys, let me show you the final result of what I created in this video. And as always, ask for your support, for your likes and comments. And I hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.